Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakai Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and others of great Muslim. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ. Bahashem is in the name. Rakai Kodash is the Holy Spirit. Also, Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring this truth for the sake of Yahweh Shai. And shout out to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and in sincerity. Shout out This is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shemel Shai. And the title of this video, Lord Willem, uh, is going to be Thou shalt not judge. Statement is ignorant. Okay, because we judge people every day. All right, you know, when you have a, uh, when you engage in a conversation with somebody, you know, you judge on how the fact that they're treating you. You know, you judge on uh, what they're saying, how they're saying it. All right, people judge, man. Okay? And I'm going to get the definition of uh, judge. It says examine. All right? We we judge the weather. We examine the weather. We examine people. If you have a family, we examine if somebody should be safe around your family. Okay? It says uh, make a diagnose. Okay? Diagnose something. All right? You're, you're, you're testing something. Okay? You know, so these people that, that say... Uh, God don't judge that their, uh, their works are evil. All right, let me start with this. It says, uh, it says, this is John chapter 13, verse, uh, I'm at 18. It says, He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is con he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High. You see, hey, believe he does not believe in the name. You see the importance of the name of, of the Lord, the true name of the Heavenly Father, all right, and his son, Yahweh Shah. All right, it says, verse 19, and this is the condemnation, condemnation that light. It's coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light. Why? It says because their deeds were evil. Okay, so they love to be judged. They love to to indulge in their wickedness. Scripture says that uh, Isaiah one and three, uh, Israel is laden with iniquity, man. All right, full of filth, man. It says, and this is the condemnation that the light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Neither coming to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved, you see. All right, when you come into this true light, all right, when you're teaching the, the true words of the Heavenly Father, you're going, to, uh, you're going to be reproved, you're going to be correct, all right? If you're examining something and something is not correct, you got to correct it, man, you see? But these people don't understand that that's true love. Verse 21 says, but he that doeth, tr doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in the Most High. All right, and I'm going to grab this. This is Leviticus 17, chapter 17, verse... It's actually chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. You see, rebuke thy neighbor, man. Okay? So we have to correct, man. The scripture says, you know, this here's the balance. All right? You don't try to beat a dead horse. It says, First Titus 3 and verse 10... It says a man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition rejects. So after the first or two corrections, you can you can you can just reject them, man. You don't gotta keep beating somebody over the head with something. All right, you can lead the horse to the water. All right, but you can't make the you can't make a drink. You can't make somebody understand this truth. All right, you know. But it's our it's our job to judge. This is uh, Isaiah. 58 and 1, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions. How do you show somebody their transgressions, man? All right, by correcting them, man. By judging, by analyzing them, man. All right, hey, that's that's not how you do that. Hey, we worship them to have we follow this way. Okay? All right, Esau, he's a so-called white man the Bible speaks of, man. All right, he's not your, he's not your friend. Okay, we have to, we have to correct our people, man. Okay? You no, know, Babylon, Babylon will be destroyed, man. All right, yes, we are the true people of Israel. 
No, we're not supposed to be shaving our head. No, we're not supposed to be eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. Okay, we're not supposed to be eating shellfish, man. All right, these are all laws of the scriptures, and the Lord said to keep them to the best of our ability, man. Okay, and what it says in uh, 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 2, and verse 11, it says, For what man know of the things that... Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the point. Uh, second has just First Corinthians chapter two verse fifteen. But he that is spiritual judges all things. Yet he himself is judge of no man. Man, you see, he that is spiritual judges all things. So we we have to examine things, see whether something is going off or not. Okay, that's part of being a judge. All right, the Lord is setting us setting us up to be judges, to be rulers, man. All right. This is 1 John 4 and 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of Yahweh Bashem al Because many false prophets are going out into the world. All right? So the Lord tells us to try the spirit, man. All right? Maria NLT says, Dear friends, do not believe everyone who claims to, to speak by the spirit. But you must, it says, you must test them to see if the spirit they, come, they have come, to see if the spirit... To see if the spirit they have comes from the Most High. For there are many false prophets in the world, you see. All right? Because a lot of people, their spirits come from Satan, man. Right? Not literally, you know, but they're of Satan. They're of their father, the devil. They follow after the ways of, of the so-called white man, all right? Which is the physical counterpart of Satan himself, man, in the flesh. Satan himself in the flesh is the so-called white nation, man. All right? The Edomites. Okay? Those are our top enemies, man. All right, it's not about skin color; it's about your spirit. All right, even judging to see whether it's just because just because somebody is white, you have to examine and, and test, diagnose the spirit, man. All right, you may not know right away, but I spend some time. All right, talk to them. All right, you're gonna understand uh, whether they are of Yahweh Bashim or not, man. All right, you know so. And I also wanted to grab this precept. This is uh. 1 Corinthians 6 and 3. Know ye not that we shall judge angels? How much more how much more things that pertain to this life? You see? You know, so judging angels, man, and angels are are, are uh, perfect. You see? So and so it says how much more pertaining to things of this life, man. Alright, so we gotta judge things pertaining to this life. That's how you know, once again, people they don't understand the scriptures, man. Alright, you know they they coming in with this Christianity mindset, you know, uh, come as you are, okay? You know, they often read Matthew 7 and 1, you know, but that's really going to do uh, the same judgment that you put upon people, you know, that, that's the same judgment that's going to be met up to you, all right? So really going into you can't be a hypocrite, all right? You know, that's why a lot of people don't want to judge either because they know the things that they being judged on, you know, they can't tell somebody else to do it because they not right, man. All right, it all comes down to them not being right. That's why they don't want to be judged. That's why they don't want to uh, judge themselves. Judge for themselves, you know, well, judge other people, I should say. And uh, this is uh, Acts 7 and 35. This Moses, whom they refused, saying, who made thee a ruler and a judge? All right, in the time of Moses, Moses, he was a ruler. All right, he was ruling over the people of Israel uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Al Shah. All right, and he was a judge, man. You know, and that's what they say to us now. Who, who made us judges? You know, who appointed us to be judges, man? But really, the Lord did, man, through the Spirit. It says, "The same did God send to be a ruler and a deliverer by the hand of the angel which appeared to him in the bush." You see, so hey, the Lord is making us judges now, man. All right. We're not the ultimate judge, all right, but we are we are uh, re reprovers, man. Okay, and it's righteous, man, and it's really ignorant. All right, Let me get that word ignorant. It's really ignorant. It says uh, lacking wisdom or knowledge, man, unaware. All right, and that and that's how people act, man. Saying that they can't. If you're not judging things, you're you're being ignorant, man. All right. You're lacking wisdom. You're lacking knowledge. All right. You're you have no awareness. Okay. 
It says not to know, to be acquainted, to be unacquainted, mistake, misunderstand. All right. You know, a lot of these people are misunderstood out here, man. Well, not misunderstood. A lot of these people, they don't know, they don't understand, man. All right. You know, but subconsciously, consciously, uh, subconsciously, you know, I should say, they do judge, man. All right. So they're, they're being hypocrites by default. You know, so with that, you know, Lord willing, this video was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. Close with that. Give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. To the next lesson, I say Shalom and a Bible. Shalom.